Hi guys. I ended up having a pregnancy. I carried my son to term. Hmm. We had no very. Uh, our, our, our situation was not easy. Because it wasn't at the height of my career and I was a young mother. <laughs> I had to learn how to be even more selfless. And that was challenging. I'm grateful that my son uh, was given the strength of character and the strength to survive all that. It was not easy for him. It was not easy for any of my children, actually. I poured so much of myself out to the public that oftentimes my home got neglected. And when I tried to turn it around, there was an entire culture that said, you can't do that. Or we'll be mad at you. Or we'll be, we'll sulk. <laughs> when I decided to stand up in my truth and my integrity, there are people who actually called me crazy. Now let's weigh that. Let's look back 20 years ago, 17 years ago. What was I talking about? Fighting the system? What was I talking about? Truth? What was I talking about? Stripping it all down? Let me ask you, 17, 18, 19 years later, was that crazy, Hollywood Ball? Is it crazy to suggest that love and freedom supersede success? Yes. And the perception of happiness. That I traded happiness for the perception of happiness. Not that I didn't enjoy sharing music with the world. I have always done that. I have always loved how music and art both comes through me and affects the audience. I love it. But I'm not a possession. Hey, I told hey. the audience, I said, listen, I said, if your hero worship comes with the desire to want to kill me next week, take your hero worship back. Hey. I don't want it. What I do want is your respect and your compassion. And for you to try to understand me the way I try to write, I try to understand the human condition and write songs that help people through it. This is a song about me needing love and compassion at a very young age. If we have it to give, let us extend it to others.